Okay, so on this video, I'm going to show the difference uh, between the Kindle Touch and the Kindle Fire. Of course, you know, there are a lot of differences, but the difference as far as, you know, reading a, a book is concerned. So the biggest uh, the difference is that, you know, this, the Kindle Touch is a e-ink reader, you know, there is no glare. Right, you won't see a reflection on this, right? And you can um, take it outside during the daytime and read it. Whereas with the Kindle Fire, you see, you're gonna see the reflection. See, you're gonna see the reflection of the camcorder, the lights, right? Uh, also, so let's go to books. Um, Looks like I haven't downloaded it onto this, right? Um, so of course, sorry, can't see everything. But you, the thing is, you know, you could see everything, you know, in color nicely, right? If you want, you can. Sorry, um, I thought you could zoom in. Apparently, you can't. Oh, there you can. There you go. You can. Right. Um, so everything is in nice and color. Actually, I have the same book on the Kindle Touch also. So let's go to Home. Oh, what's that? Some kind of salad thing, right? Salads for every season. Um, let's spring and summer. So it's the same thing. There you go. The image on the Kindle Touch. That's how it looks like on the Kindle Touch. And of course on the you know Kindle Fire, you can see a nice and large uh, color image so that that's that's one thing you know when you um, are reading when you're looking at images right and then of course the negatives is that you could see the the shadows right here you are not seeing the reflection but you could see the reflection of the light and uh, of the camera because it's the white background right but then something um, a negative point about the Kindle Touch is this refresh thing see so you have every sixth page you have a refresh when it's text but if it's you know um, okay you should have yeah, there you go the screen becomes black every sixth six turns six pages right but if it is a image you know it happens uh, every page basically see and so I go back there you go it becomes black becomes black right so that that happens uh, that that refresh thing is there whereas with the kindle fire you know obviously that's not there because it's a lcd screen screen right so that's the difference of the kindle fire and the kindle touch um as far as reading books go and uh, of course uh, you know um something an advantage of the kindle touch is you know if you, if you want to spend extra 40 dollars or maybe 50 you know you could get the 3g version right uh, so you don't have to be dependent on internet whereas with, on a wi-fi connection whereas with the kindle fire you know you have you don't have that option you know you only have the option of wi-fi right so that's a disadvantage of the Kindle Fire, if you are, if you were planning on getting a, a Kindle Fire with 3G, another notable difference with the reading on the Kindle Fire and the uh, Kindle Touch is that you know on the Kindle Fire, you know you have this, you can switch between landscape and portrait modes, right? 
right um, which gives you a broader view you know especially if you're reading a newspaper or you know looking at a larger image or a map for example this can be really useful but with the kindle touch you know you don't have that option you know it doesn't orientate you know this is the only option you have right so those are the differences of reading an ebook on the kindle touch versus kindle fire but then you know if you're browsing the web or things like that you know kindle touch doesn't come anywhere close to the kindle fire uh, you know so uh, you know you could go to the home page menu experimental web browser and that's what the web browser looks like on the, the Kindle touch you know you could uh, zoom in and things like that Right. Zoom out also, but of course it's black and white and it's an e-ink screen. So you you are not the pur purchase. You should your purchase your purpose of the pur purchasing a Kindle Touch should not be to um, browse the web. Whereas you know the Kindle Fire is far superior when it comes to browsing the web. And on the in contrast on the Kindle Fire, you know you have a full blown browser. You know which is a uh, um, completely you know full browser you get color videos all that and you know you can watch videos and all that so it, 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 the kindle touch is you know doesn't compare to the kindle fire when it comes to other features so you could as i said earlier you know you could switch between landscape and portrait modes and all that you see on the kindle fire you know you have these uh, the, these books look really nice uh, whereas on the Kindle Touch, it's not quite the same, you know. So this is how it looks. Um, but you know, that's why you're paying hundred dollars less.